Hello and welcome back. I'm Lincoln. This is part two of this series. I'm going to show you how to make those teeth in the stem. I'm going to have links in here for the playlist and links at the end for the next video. All right, let's grab your iPad and let's get sculpting. So the next step is to show you how to make this new brush and this is super easy to make. It's, it makes teeth really fast and easy. We're going to come up here and clone the move brush. So click on it, click on it again, hit clone. I'll name this teeth. And this one, we're going to go into your settings. Now, first thing, you can leave the alpha on here. It doesn't really matter too much about the alpha. You can use a round alpha if you want for this, but you can leave it here. The scaling doesn't matter. The fall off is the important part, and you can change everything with this. We're going to make a crazy tooth. Now you have another option in here from the others too. You got grab, grab dynamic radius, and intensity. So if you just do grab, you can set how high everything goes and it gets pretty crazy pretty quick so let's bring the intensity down the size down so now you can make these crazy teeth really quick now if you want to make smaller sharper teeth come back in here and adjust this bring this fall off over here a little bit I suggest giving it a little bit of roundness otherwise it'll get pretty jagged pretty quick but now you can make even sharp fine point teeth in here really quick now say you don't want all like sharp teeth and you want to do something a little bit different we can come in here and change this profile you can change it like this if you want and let's go around the back side it'll be easier Pull these teeth pull them down like this so now you've got flat teeth if you want so here you can see you have kind of a round edge and if you don't want that just come in drop this down a little bit more and it'll be you can even just drop it straight down and just pull them out but you notice it'll, it'll start getting a little teeth will start getting a little jagged because it's coming straight out And it's just all about a matter of adjusting your fall off like you want. And then if you want to try the presets, one of these will do pretty well too. Then you just adjust the intensity that you're pulling down at. Make some bigger, fatter teeth if you want. And it's it's view specific, so it takes a second to find the right spot to be able to pull your teeth down where you want them. But it's kind of cool because like these, you'll get some kind of some random, random effects. And it's kind of cool. You can get some pretty crazy teeth going pretty quick. So there you go. Kind of crazy teeth going. But you can see just with one, this one brush, you can change it a little bit. And you can always just use a move brush, but then if you want to go, say I want to do some adjustment on here, I don't have to change all that fall off and all the other settings I've messed with in there. If you mess with them some more, I can come in here and move this a little bit, make it a little bigger, move, you know, and it's not where I'm doing this and I have to change things. The next step after this is to go ahead and put your halves back together now if you look you'll see this one has pretty high topology and then this one does not so if you go to voxel merge those you're gonna get kind of a weird line so you need to go ahead and up this one a little bit too it, it'll just rematch better so if we bring this up to around 500 or so it'll rematch fine enough and then select this one and go and rematch because you can see you have that line right there but it should clean up pretty good when we voxel these two together and if not you should just be able to smooth them out so there's still a little bit of something going on there but it shouldn't take much to smooth these smooth that out and you can always add just a little bit of clay right there and then smooth that back down it should go away. Use the flatten there, 
cool clay and a little flattened brush. It's best to add just a little bit of clay in there first before you use your flattened brush, otherwise you'll end up cutting a little too much off. So the next thing you can do on here is to put your vine on the top. So we can come over here and grab the tube tool. And same thing, you can do a path or a curve. So there, hit the green button. Now you can come in and change everything. So you can see these are almost kind of weird too. You can move these around. There's a lot of different things you can do with these. We'll grab the gizmo and kind of move this back in place where we want. Now if we grab the grab all the radius tools and the edit splines. Now we can get this to go exactly where you want. So here you can just grab all the nodes and just adjust as you want. Kind of tweak them around a little. However you want to put your however you want it, you know. Give it a little bit of motion. Move it around a little. So That's pretty good right there. Okay, so now that you got it all kind of move around where you want, just hit validate. Now this, if you want to sculpt on it more, you definitely want to bring the resolution up because it's pretty, pretty fine. Or not, it's not, it does not have very much resolution. So with that, now you can sculpt on it some and do something with it. Well, thanks for watching, and if this helps you out at all, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.